on the ice. And now the first of two American couples, Bogorbinski and Benoit. They train alongside the other Americans we'll see later, Chalk and Bates in Michigan. Eliana Pogorbinski from San Jose, California. Alex Benoit from Winfield, Illinois. They've been together since 2014 and sixth after the short dance here in Grenoble. event of the season, trying to improve upon a seventh place finish in Beijing at the Grand Prix of China. Incredible flexibility there on that dance spin. It's going to be reflected in their grade of execution score. impressive was the ease coming out of it. It's almost like they gained speed. in the free dance than they did yesterday in the short dance. What do you typically attribute something like that to if a couple looks different one day to the next like this? I think for them, it's just they're more comfortable with this style of skating. Latin might just be still out of their comfort zone a little bit. So they feel like they have to really be someone other than themselves, but I have to say they it feels like they're just being themselves in this program, and I really appreciate that. Very strong performance, very consistent all the way through. I, I, I didn't feel like they, they took a moment off. And this music certainly requires a lot of maturity. I don't feel, I, I, I do feel like they lived up to that. I, I'm very impressed. I, I think that uh, 
for such a young team to, to take that music on and, and to embody it, a certain sensuality that kind of comes with age, and I think these two really embodied that well. Now still looking for their first ever top five at a Grand Prix event. They've been hovering right around that mark with a lot of sixth and seventh place finishes. Sixth after the short dance here. And it's going to be hard to break into that top five here. Very strong group of skaters. The last the last warm up group, all of them are, are excellent. And they've been in the game for a while. They have the experience that these two are just, you know, growing. They're learning and they'll continue to, to improve. But at the same time, I, I don't think that should take away from what they accomplished in this free dance. And the U.S. with three ice dance spots available at the Olympics in February, but very difficult for these two to crack a very strong U.S. roster. You got Hubble and Donahue, Shibutani's, and a couple we'll see in just a little while here from Grenoble, Chalk and Bates. Absolutely, and here in these replays, you can see their lifts, which I think are absolutely what, what sets them apart from this first group of skaters. Everyone is trying very difficult positions and intricate maneuvers, but the strength these two have during their lifts, the solidity and the security, it just allows you to appreciate the positions, her flexibility, it's, it, it all combines so well. And as I've said before, just using the lifts to make moments combined with the music, it's, it, it can really create a powerful atmosphere. And these two, I think, have, have done it better than, than any of the teams we've seen so far. Now these two from distinctly different backgrounds. She was a rhythmic gymnastics champion, a national competitor. He was a hockey player when he was young. She also did ballet and competitive ballroom dancing. And now Pogorbinski and Benoit with season best scores in the free dance, elevating them into second place for the moment. Their total score is 154.14. We place them currently in second place.